I love Christmas. And I love Lego. And since today is Christmas Day, I wanted to drop a surprise video and talk about my top 5 favourite Lego sets I've ever received for Christmas since I started collecting Lego 11 years ago. Let's go. Coming in at number 5 is the Ninjago Golden Dragon, released in 2013, which I got for Christmas of that year. This set is an absolute classic, and it's one of my favourite LEGO Ninjago sets of all time. I remember being so excited waking up on Christmas morning, and getting this super awesome and iconic Golden Lloyd minifigure. And I think the actual dragon build here looks really good. While some people dislike the rubber heads, personally I have always loved them. In fact, I actually prefer them over most brick built heads. And the stone warriors included here are really cool as well. Sadly, in the years since 2013, my copy of the set got destroyed. But in 2021, I got back into Ninjago and fished through tubs and tubs of pieces and completely rebuilt it. Unfortunately, the dragon's jaw is permanently stained though, because simple little me drew on it with a sharpie for some reason. And since this video is releasing on Christmas Day 2023, that means I got this set a whole 10 years ago. At number 4 is the Misfortunes Keep from Ninjago. This set released in 2016, however I only got it in 2021. Because 2021 was the year I got back into LEGO Ninjago, and I really wanted a set from the Skybound Wave, of which I had none. Luckily the big red guy came in clutch that year, and I got the best set from Ninjago Skybound. Whilst it's nowhere near the size seen in the show, the set here is still really big and cool, being this steampunk flying pirate ship. And I remember back in 2016, I thought it was so cool how it uses these cement mixer barrel pieces as thrusters. The minifigure selection here is also really good, featuring the first of two appearances of Natakan, as well as Flintlock, Monkey Wretch, Bucko, Kai, Lloyd with this weird non-cannon jetpack thing, and Jay with an exclusive face. My only gripe with this set is the lack of hood pieces for Jay and Lloyd, which resulted in me buying both of them off Bricklink. My third favourite Christmas LEGO gift I've ever received is the Ghostbusters Firehouse Headquarters, which was released in 2016, which I got for Christmas of that same year. This is the only set here that I cannot film, as it's not really entirely built, though I can still use images I found online. I love LEGO buildings. They are my favourite thing that LEGO makes. Vehicles and mechs and dragons are great, but nothing beats the architecture of a realistic looking LEGO building. And this set is a perfect example of that. It absolutely towers over other LEGO buildings, and whilst it may not be gigantic by today's LEGO standards, it was huge for its time. And it is also fully enclosed. One thing I love to see is LEGO buildings that are 100% complete. Most LEGO sets from themes like Ninjago and City and Friends are an open-backed dollhouse kind of style to allow kids to get their fingers in there. And whilst they're great for what they are, one thing that annoys me is that most of them have no in-universe minifigure access. Which is why it makes me so happy to see something like a full staircase featured in this set. And the build also very accurately represents the real-life building featured in the Ghostbusters films. Even down to the tiniest details, like these little blue stars, or this Ninjago General Kozu headpiece used here. And the minifigures are also all perfect, with all four Ghostbusters and important side characters as well as some nice surprises like Slimer, the library ghost, and a zombie taxi driver, yet with no taxi, strangely. And there's also some recolored and reprinted Screamers from Ninjago. I also wanted to mention that I really had no interest in this set until I got it for Christmas and ended up really liking it, which usually happens the other way around. Whether you're a diehard fan of the Ghostbusters movies or just a Lego building enthusiast like me, you're going to love this set. At number 2 is something truly unique, which LEGO has never done before or since. LEGO Stranger Things The Upside Down, released in 2019, which I got for Christmas of that same year. I honestly think Stranger Things is one of the greatest TV shows of all time. It's got great writing, great characters, and a great 80s setting. So when a rumour started that LEGO was making a Stranger Things set, I got very excited. And boy oh boy did the set not disappoint. In fact, it far exceeded anything fans could have hoped for. This set showcased the ingenuity of LEGO's talented designers and did something truly unique and incredible. The set includes not just one, but two houses, both of which are mounted completely upside down to each other. This set looks like it's going to fall over at a glance, yet it is incredibly sturdy, with both the trees on either side giving plenty of support. 
The interiors of these houses are packed with heaps of details, or should I say the same details, just in different colours. And I really love the regular house here, because of just how realistic it looks. This set does not look like a real official Lego set to me. It looks like a custom creation by a talented fan. This is probably the most realistic and detailed house Lego has ever done. Everything here is just so perfect, with the North American architecture and the muted and earthy tones. And the minifigures here absolutely knock it out of the park, with new hairpiece moulds for Will, Dustin and the Demogorgon. And all the minifigures here are shockingly accurate to the show. My only gripes here are that Eleven's hairpiece doesn't really resemble the wig seen in the show that much. And I wish Hopper had hair sticking out from under his hat, similar to the Indiana Jones minifigure seen this year. I really think that LEGO should make more Stranger Things related products though. Sure, we've had a Castle Buyers promo and a Comic Con exclusive barb that costs an absolute fortune. As well as an Eleven and Demogorgon brickheads, but more minifigure scale sets would be amazing. We really need some figures like Max, Steve, Nancy and Jonathan. Please Lego, I'm begging you, make a Starcourt Mall set. And finally, my favourite Lego set I ever got for Christmas is the Ninjago City Docks, released in 2018 which I once again got for Christmas that same year. It is no secret at this point that I am a huge fan of the Ninjago City line of sets. They are amazingly detailed and show Ninjago at its best. We've had four at this point, and they are showing no signs of slowing down, with the rumoured Ninjago City Apartments set for 2025, and the recently leaked Microscale series of sets. And the Ninjago City Docks was the first one of them that I acquired. Whilst it is the smallest of all its siblings, it is still a substantial sized set, featuring amazing detail and minifigures. My favourite part of the set is the arcade up the top, with the dispensable drinks feature. This set is also unique among the Ninjago City line because the main attractive side of it is on the back and not the front, unlike the other three Ninjago City sets. The only thing I don't like here is the fact that to get down from this top path up here, you have to go through the tea shop, down a ladder, through this house and then down these steps which lead straight to water. Which means there is no viable in-universe way of minifigs to descend to this side of the set. The steps down here should have led to the right. And now let's talk about the minifigures. You get a bunch of Ninjago citizens as usual, as well as Garmadon, Lloyd, an exclusive casual Cole, Darith, and one of only three appearances of Lil Nelson. Though my favourite minifigure has to be Private Puffer. This set is great, and I hope they continue with this modular Ninjago line for years to come. Those were my top five favourite Lego sets I've ever received for Christmas. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what gifts you've gotten and have yourselves a very Merry Christmas. See ya!